everyone, this is Chris, and you're watching One Cross Video. And uh, we're back for another episode of our OCR Shorts. Uh, I've got a timer going on because uh, Instagram, D Instagram TV, IGTV, where we post some of these, um, they've got a time limit of 15 minutes. And <laughs> once you factor in the intro and the outro, it cuts you down by like, I don't know, 40 seconds. Um, anyways... I might end up posting this early just because it's doing, uh, it is speaking to some things that are frustratingly happening uh, concurrently, um, but also something that's happening on Monday. And it's something I, I want to remind people, period, anytime there's an election. Um, peek behind the curtain, the second episode of, um, of my new podcast with Christian, the Radio Arcade podcast, at the end, I do the same thing. I encourage people to pray for their leaders. But that episode drops two days after the election. <laughs> um, so this is kind of... I, I'm aiming to have this out Sunday or Monday. Um, probably Sunday, though, just because I'm working all day Monday. As a poll worker. <laughs> um, anyways. So this is, I'm going to say, as much for me as it is something I want to share with y'all. And the reason it's as much for me is like point blank, um, I've been angry. <laughs> like it's it's embarrassing as a, as a Canadian um, and frustrating uh, if I hear Christians being involved in it. Um, I'm talking about the, the protests of the uh, the vaccine passport and I've said on my personal Instagram a number of times if you feel the need to protest to peacefully protest you absolutely have the right to do that and I might not agree with your stance but you have that right and I encourage you to embrace that right but how the protesting is going on is frankly disgusting um, and upsetting and wrong and I try not to make sweeping statements um, it's something I actually talk to Christian about a lot um, and we we talked about it a fair bit on the next episode I'm not trying to plug just just being real um, and this is one of those situations <laughs> where it's it's challenging um, not to because I, I don't understand what people are thinking when they do this. There is no, no good coming from this. Um, it's harmful. It's like, it's contributing to further deaths. You're reading horror stories from nurses who are describing people not only blocking ambulance access outside the hospital, but coming into the hospital to protest and then having loved ones dying and they're not being a private place for them to grieve. Like, what the heck? <sighs> and and this is why I'm doing this, because y'all know me. I try, I, I do try uh, to be as fair and level as possible. Um, and as loving as possible, even graceful towards things I, things and ideas I really disagree with. And this one is so challenging for me. Um, so many times today, I've just wanted to rant and, and just rip apart the people doing this. And, and I know that'll feel good. But it's not something I should do. And trust me, there's a huge part of me being like, Chris, you should. <laughs> like, just, just do it, bruh. And I can't. And uh, part of that I'm, I'm very thankful for is, as I was just pausing, because I'll be honest, today I'm incredibly anxious. Um, it hasn't been a good day for that. And as I was pausing and kind of trying to breathe, uh, I was reminded of scripture where this is something I remind other people constantly. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm like, all right, this might not be the reminder I want right now, but it's accurate and I need to do this as well. Um, cause it's something God tells us to do. So I'll, I'll try to keep this quick, um, in two sections. The first one is, uh, we're supposed to pray for our enemies. Now, enemy seems like a harsh word. It does. But in this situation, I will, do, <laughs> I think it applies because it's not, maybe it's not just enemy. Maybe it's people who wrong me <laughs> or do things that I think are disgusting. <laughs> um, and in the past in, in social work and ministry, you got to get beyond that stuff and work with these people at an individual level. So I'm going to try to put my faith into practice here. And I wanted to remind y'all especially the believers who see this stuff and get just as angry about it and at other things, what the Bible says. So we are supposed to pray for our enemies. Um, give me one sec. I had the scriptures open. Um, dang it. This is what happens when I click. Um, okay, here we go. So Ephesians 4. Verse 32, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Matthew 5, 44, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Romans 12, 20, on the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will burn, you will heap burning coals on his head, which is a, a very funny mental image. But the point of that one is like you're in a way killing them with kindness. Um, and I, I, I love that idea. Um, and those are just some of the examples. Like, yeah, it's, um, oh, here. Another one from Matthew, again, Matthew 43 to 45. Um, You've heard it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your father in heaven. And then Luke 6, 27 to 28. But I tell you who hear me, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, Pray for those who mistreat you. So as much as the crowd of anti-vaxxers, that particular crowd, doing all these horrible things, legitimately angers me, and um, the, there should be consequences for their actions, and they should be protesting Dougie and not hospitals and doing all this harm. I still need to pray for them. <laughs> like, I, I can't ignore the abundance of scriptures that, that tells me that. And I'll be honest, like, I, I got to do that several times a day. And it, it does help. And I guess the other kind of hope is I know through through this video, um, through the video series, through the podcast at points when I've talked politics and most likely through this new podcast, uh, there'll be times where people may consider me an enemy, not like a blood feud enemy, but you get what I mean, because um, we're hyper everything at this point where if you disagree, you're you're the worst. <laughs> Um, so that part, I want to remind you, I, I know the majority of people and fellow believers who see this stuff, they know it's not right and they're getting angry and justifiably so, but we still need to pray for these people and not in a way that the Namville will fall on their hand, but that they'll, they'll do this right and they, they'll realize the harm they are doing. Okay, so the second one, and it's going to be less of a focus, but we have an election coming up in Canada this Monday. Uh, we'll see what happens with it. I've already gone and voted. Um, like I said, I'm 
It happened very fast, but I will be working the poles on one day, so that's going to be interesting. Um, however, I so I had to go and vote early, and every time a selection going around without fail, um, homies in the states, it's going to feel like I'm picking on you, but I feel this is an apt criticism. Canada is learning from the crap show that is your guys' politics and how it's treated. <laughs> And we are adopting it up here, much to my chagrin and and horror. Um, <laughs> everybody needs to do politics better. Um, and of course, it's like, well, if it goes this, like it's, we're doomed. We're, no, we're not. Um, okay, so I just want to share <laughs> some quick scriptures about praying for our leaders. Um so 1 Timothy 2, 1 to 2. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all of those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. 1 Peter 2, 17. Show proper respect to everyone. Love the family of believers, fear God, honor the emperor. Um, I know in my last video and my most recent One Cross Radio episode, love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> that also applies to our leaders who are absolutely in a higher, sta like, higher standard to be held accountable to, but that doesn't mean we don't still love. Okay, um, and then also, Psalms 2.10, Therefore, you kings, be wise, be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. So, remember, fellow believers, non-believers or people of a different faith get into the house. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sorry, I've got so many tabs open. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I had like a, a good list of like 10 or 12. <laughs> okay, here we go. So sorry about that. Um, Romans 13. One, let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. God allowed the person that you didn't want to win. You got to deal with that and pray for them. And again, not that they'll be defeated and embarrassed and an anvil will fall on their head. Pray for them. Pray for them like you'd pray for an enemy. Or, better yet, pray for them like you'd pray for a loved one. As much as I might not agree with whoever, our current prime minister, I'll go with him, uh, or any number of the candidates, really, as much as I might not agree with their politics, they're in a tough position. They really are. And me yelling at them isn't going to do it. We got to hold them accountable. Absolutely. But also for just screaming at how terrible they are at them. Why would they listen? Why would anybody listen? I mean, let's be real. We don't listen when someone does that to us. Um, so, yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you all today. I hope you heard my heart. I hope this is encouraging and I hope it's a helpful reminder. Thank you for your love and support. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Peace.